this point, it's probably not a bad idea to be a little scared. I'm going to be asking you to push past your comfort zone. I'm going to be pushing your envelope to see what you can do. And I'm going to take you out of your comfort zone. That's what this course does, because that's how you advance. It's not the most pleasant thing in the world, I know, but to advance takes effort and it takes some level of discomfort. So let me do that. Let me push you. But don't get to the point where you're paralyzed. There's no point in that. I will never ask you to do something you cannot do. I guarantee it. I may ask you to do something that will require you to design your time and to organize your time and organize your thinking very carefully. I'm going to challenge you in that way. I'm going to challenge you in a lot of other ways as well. But I'm not going to ask you to do something you cannot do. And yes, I do know you're taking other courses. I do know you're probably working. I know you've got other things going on in your life. I am not ever going to ask you to do something outside of what you can do. But I am going to ask you to do things outside of what you're used to doing. There's no question about that. Even if you've come from a very good high school program. This isn't high school. This is university level. So, yes, we're at a college. Yes, it's community college. This is a university level course. It get, confers university level credit. So, that is where we are. And if you accept all of that, here is my third guarantee. First one was that you were going to work. Second one was I was going to work. Third one is this. If you complete the course and you master the material that I'm giving you, you will be prepared for upper division study at any university in the country in biology. I guarantee it. If you work at this level, you'll be ready to go to ASU, you'll be ready to go to U of A, UCLA, Stanford, Berkeley even. If you want to go to any of those programs, I will prepare you. But you've got to come to me too. I will work as hard as I can to get to you, but you've got to work to get to me. And if you do, then you're ready to go. I will get you there. But you've got to put in that effort and as much as I'm putting in that effort. All right? So what that means is this. You have to recognize and accept the challenge. That's the key strategy for success for this class. Recognize it's going to be hard and just accept that. Don't ever give up on yourself. Now, this is critical. And here's how you'll know if you're giving up on yourself. The kind of arguments that you will make when you're giving up on yourself is, this isn't fair, it's too hard. I don't understand why he's making us work at this level because this is a community college. That is you giving up on yourself. Don't do that. Accept the challenge, take it on, and overcome it. That's the way forward. Saying, it's too hard, I need to find somebody easier, this is way beyond, it's not fair, it's not right is a pathway to some other profession. Take on the challenge and do it. Now, also the key skill that you've got to develop, and many of you already have, but many of you still need to work on this, is time management. That's the crit critical part of everything is that a professional does. Being a professional means you dedicate and commit an enormous amount of your life to that particular profession, and this is no different. So what you've got to do is organize your time. And this class is going to take a lot of time. It's going to require one to three hours per day, five to six days per week. And I'm not kidding, and I am not exaggerating. Every single day, you're going to need for five to six days a week, Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday, you need to spend at least one hour a day on the class, probably more. The labs will take five to six hours. The lectures will take one to two hours, maybe three hours each. Okay, so all of that together is going to require you to work every single day. So the key strategy then is this. Start your assignment early and finish them before the deadline in case something goes wrong. That way you have time to adjust and learn the material and get it done before the deadline at a very high level. That's what you're shooting for. Okay, but you've got to organize your time to allow yourself to do that. What that means then is, again, treat it as a regular class. Every single day, work on it. Don't let a day go by for the next 16 weeks. Don't let a day go by where you don't look at it, except maybe once or twice a week. Okay? Always do that. Now, there's going to be an enormous amount of vocabulary. A bunch of new terms that you have to learn. Some of them that you've learned before, but the professional definition may be a little different than the definition you learned in high school. So, what you want to do is to learn that vocabulary using some 
technique that is efficient, meaning it, you learn it rapidly and solidly. And one of the most efficient ways to do it is with note cards. Put the term down on one side of the note card, flip it, write the definition on the other side of the note card, get a stack of those for every single lecture. After every lecture, shuffle them, go through those cards, look at the term, close your eyes, state the definition, look to see if you get it right. If you get it right, put it in one pile. If you get it wrong, put it in another pile. And then take the pile that you got wrong and redo it until you get them all right. Then shuffle them up again, do it again. Shuffle them up and do that over and over again until you get them all right the first time, three times in a row. Then you're not done. Flip them and look at the definition. Read the definition and then state the term and do the same thing. Now, every single lecture is only going to have at most maybe 12. There's one or two lectures that are pretty term heavy. We'll have maybe 12, uh, uh, sorry, 20 or so. But most of them have less than 10 terms. So you can do this rapidly. It'll take you 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour to master those terms. And once you have the terms, then when you read and go through all the lectures and all the other material, it'll make it much, much more solid and more easily understood because you know what those terms are, are, are saying. Some people misunderstand jargon. Jargon, the word jargon means technical terms that people use, terms of art that people use to communicate things in a technical field. Now, we are definitely a technical field, and we're going to use a lot of jargon terms. There are times when jargon can be overused. There are times when people can use those terms to try to sound erudite, for example. Okay? Erudite means trying to be smart and learn it and, you know, intelligent and well-learned, well-read. Yeah, that can happen. But actually, most of the time, it makes more sense to use the jargon. What makes more sense, to talk about the rough ER or the squiggly thing that, with little dots on it? It makes more sense to use the proper terms. So that's why, as professionals, we use the terms. We're not trying to sound smart. We're not trying to sound high, brow, and above anybody else. We're using them because it's the most efficient way to communicate. So that's why we're going to focus on vocabulary and learn a lot. That's not the only thing we're going to learn. We're also going to be learning the things I talked about before, the theories and the, and the, and the skills that we use as, as professionals. The other thing, as I already mentioned, engage the course. Work on the class every single day. That's what engaging the course is. Don't let things go. Don't let things go for the rest of the week. And it's easy to do that online. It's extremely easy to do that in an online class. Because, oh, you know, it's, it's asynchronous. I can download it. Ah, today I'm busy. I'll do it tomorrow. It's easy to get into that. Now, at the beginning of the semester, what I've noticed is most people don't do that. Where you've got to watch is October, November. That's when in this semester, people start to respond as, oh, it's, you know, I can wait a little bit. It'll be okay. No, no, no. You got to set that time aside and stick to it. You got to be disciplined, self-disciplined. Stick, stick to your time, get the stuff done. And if you do, your stress level goes down and your quality of your work goes up. And most importantly, and this is the only thing I really care about, your ability to master this material increases like crazy. And you master it brilliantly. And that's what, we're that's what we're shooting for. Okay. Also, use all the resources available. Like I said, I'm going to push you. I'm going to push you up against that envelope of yours. And you're going to get into situations where you're uncomfortable and you're going to say, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. When you get to that point, what you don't want to do is give up on yourself and say, this isn't fair. I don't know how to do this. It's not fair. Of course, I'm going to ask you to do stuff you don't know how to do. That's the whole point of learning. But you overcome it by, I don't know how to do this. I can't figure it out. I've been working on it for an hour, and I just can't figure this one problem out. This is driving me nuts. Send me an email. Come to my office hours. Go to the Tutor Center. The Tutor Center, by the way, I have um, things uh, on Canvas that you can link to. that will take you right to the tutors. We have excellent tutors that can help you through most of these problems. The textbook helps. Now, I will say this, though. Watch Google. Okay, now, one of the easiest things to do, which is also the most dangerous, is to, I don't know what the problem is, and type in to a Google search the thing you're trying to, you're, you're trying to find out. 98% of the material, okay, and I'm just guessing, but that's probably not too much of an exaggeration, but the vast majority of the material on a Google search that you're going to find on any topic we talk about in this class is geared for high school. And... We're not at high school. 
We are not working at a high school level. We're not working at a high school AP level. We're above that. We're not working at a high school international baccalaureate level. We're above that. So most of the material you're going to get is actually going to be easier to understand than the material I'm talking about because it's been simplified. You cannot learn it at this level simplified. We're learning it at a professional level, not at a high school level. So be aware of that. Be careful to make sure that whatever resource you find, you check against the book, you check against my lectures, you check against what the tutors are telling you. And that just makes sure that you're working at the proper level and that you're studying and learning this and mastering it at the level that's required for this class. So that's it. We're ready to roll. What you do now is get into lecture 1.2, begin that, take this quiz, and we're off. We're ready to go. Good luck. Again, if you have any questions, please come to my office hours. Like I say, look on Canvas and I will post uh, times when I will be available each week where you can just come to uh, a, a, a hosted meeting on WebEx or on Zoom and ask questions or sit around and watch other people and listen to other people ask questions and me answer them. Other than that, my office hours will be again posted for times for you to send me emails and we could again Skype or set up uh, situations like that. At any time, you're of course always welcome to email me and I will always get back to you within 24 hours with one exception on the weekends. I may be off in uh, working in the field. I may be spending time with my family. So in that situation, uh, if you send me an email on Friday after 5 o'clock, you may not get an answer until Monday, but you will get an answer Monday. Again, good luck, everybody. I look forward to working with you this semester, and I will see you very shortly.